Alabama, to me, if I'm watching spring practice, I'm circling that offensive line. I'm circling what we're doing. Right. Listen, you can talk about all these quarterbacks and whomever is taking snaps from center. If them five dudes in the front, them big nasty, them big butts, are not getting back to being nasty and moving people off the football and can get back in their pass sets and protect the quarterback, give him time to diagnose, give him time to scan the field and read. I don't care who you put back there. The problem with Alabama, as I watch every game, is they have taken a back seat in, in the offensive line. They yeah. have not had an offensive line that's been good the last couple of years. I, I, I've seen numerous other teams were much better across the board offensive line. They got to get back to protecting. They got to get back to running the football and then not become so predictable because they're second and long, third and long. Our teams know you got an obvious pass situation. Now they just pin their ears back and coming at you. To me, it starts in the trenches. If you're going to be a great football team again, you have to be great in the trenches, offensive line-wise and defensive line-wise. And and to me, they've been soft. I'm sorry. Yep. The offensive yep. line has been soft. That kid they brought in for Vanderbilt who was light in the booty, had no butt getting pushed around. I mean, yep. listen, man, you better get you some dudes with some attitude up front, some nasty. I mean, some listen. nasty dudes up front that can, can can block in the run game and protect in the pass game. I, well, I think, Mr. Miller, Mr. Yes, Miller, sir. you know what? But you kind of threw me there when you said big nasty because I, it, it I made me here think of a girl I met in the Greyhound bus station. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I think we have that in the offensive line right now. Put her on shirt, by the way. Put her on the shirt. Uh, yes. I, I, I think that girl. Seth McLaughlin, Seth McLaughlin and <laughs> J.C. Latham and Tyler Booker are – that level of nasty you're talking about. And I feel like they're going to cause the other guys around them to follow suit. I feel like the offensive line is probably going to be the most improved position group. And under Eric Wolford, he's going to get them back to that level of play that we're accustomed to. I think on the offensive line, there's one position battle and it's at left guard. I think that's mm -hmm. going to come down to Darian Dalcourt and the freshman Tate and Proctor. Uh, those two are going to battle that out for, for left guard. It's going to be interesting to see which one takes that because if 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 if, if Dalcourt gets that, yes, it's experience, but if Caden Proctor at 6'8", 330 gets that, and he's already coming in here with kind of that nasty mindset that, Mr. Corey, you just alluded to right there, it's going to be fun to watch this offensive line. <laughs>